Welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in again. Welcome to your old subs. Welcome to your new subs. Not subs. Do us a favour. Go click sub. Core. Right. Missions. Right. We're going to Morzine tomorrow. So I've been like flat out like trying to get some vlogs done because realistically when we go away I want to be out of a bit of a break. Like I'm going to do some filming and some vlogs out there but I don't want to be doing any editing really. I said to Juliet like oh I might take my laptop and she just gave me that look and any of you that are married like you know that look and i was like yeah like maybe i'll just get all my work done before we go i wasn't really thinking about taking my laptop <laughs> so the last couple of days i've been flat out filming a few bits and bobs and and like, i haven't had time to ride i haven't had time to do anything and and Juliet's in the same like boat and it's slightly ironic that there's two cycle vloggers that are basically not being able to ride their bikes because they're spending all their time editing videos. Um, <laughs> but I've got some cool stuff coming out, so stay tuned for that. One of them you would have just seen is when I set up my new parts on my gravel bikes. I've got like new discs, new crank, and a power meter on there. And I actually just switched my cassette because my gears were a bit like funky, and it turns out my cassette's a bit worn. So new cassette, well, a new cassette. I nicked a cassette off one of my other bikes. Yeah, so I wanted to go out, do a proper test ride, have loads of fun and uh, test out my power meter and do a bit of a review. But realistically, I need to ride this power meter for a decent amount of time before... Sorry, by the way, to anyone that struggles to understand me. I know I speak fast. I try and slow down. Um, you can have to watch it in like minus whatever speed to understand it. So my plan today was to go out and do a bit of a shred, get some like power data, do some overlays and all that sort of stuff. And um, realistically, I just ain't got time. You know, I need to go into town. I need to get some bits. I spent all morning setting up Juliet's bike for Morzine, um, sorting out the kids' bike, sorting out my bike. And it's just, time goes so quickly, doesn't it? But I might be casually dressed, but I'm still on a rad bike and there's still rad trails on the way to the shops. So, you know me, like we need to have a shred on the way there at least and a bit of a chat, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Always a chat. Anyway, enough nattering. I'll give you a quick look at my bike and then we're going to go for a shred. Right, so here I am, like, back home. <laughs> right, so this is the relic being a vlogger <laughs> or having a vlogger wife. I just, um, Got up the road, was chatting to you guys, and then got a phone call from Juliet. I was like, ah, something's on my video. Can you go home and edit it really quickly? I'm out. <laughs> so I will get out to the shops and do my ride in a second. I'm just going to quickly tweak this, don't look, and uh, I'll be back with you. Sorry, guys. See what I mean? It's never simple, right? Right. <laughs> now I can have a little shred. Obviously I'm taking the long route to the shop though, right? Um, well, <laughs> so I need to get some inner tubes just in case. I've got tubeless, but you never know. And then some CO2 canisters. What else do I need? Brake pads, spare brake pads. Get a coffee. Obviously, I really fancy a beer. Maybe a beer. I mean, it is up past one, so, hmm. So I didn't say much about what we're doing. Yeah, so we're just gonna go, me, Juliet, kiddo, um, a few of our friends are already out there with their kids and everyone's camping and we're gonna go and shred mountain bikes and chill out, you know? Can't wait. And especially because I think I'll go back to work on the 28th. So this means we get to have a last bit of fun. <laughs> I must say, like, I must say, I always say it, right? So, <laughs> this Impeak Power Crank, I'm dead impressed so far. You know, like, sometimes the power meters, they're like, they don't sync, or when you start your ride, you have to, like, reconnect it, or, you know, not always, but um, the past few times, I've only ridden this, like, three times, but the past few times, just flawless. Setting up was flawless. Everything to do with it so far has been, like, perfect, so it's really nice. The install on the crank is mega good. It's really reasonably priced and really quick 
and the actual install like setup on Oahu was like so easy so ticks ticks and ticks and it works so that's another tick I, mean, I don't know if it's like the cheapest power meter out there but um I mean that's cheap right I wonder what the cheapest power meter is but anyway like to me and like I'm not like a big spender you know like I don't make loads of money and I wouldn't spend a thousand pounds on a pair of power tap pedals I just wouldn't you know to me like it's just not worth it <laughs> it's just too much money mate um but like 300 quid like I mean that's a big difference right I mean it's still a big outlay but like for what you'd get out of it I feel it's really good So that's like the install on it. It's like so sweet, right? It's just so nice and clean. Another thing as well, I went for a 170 crank because I always run 650Bs and it lowers your bottom bracket. So I figured, well, why not have a shorter crank? Like 170 is still pretty long. So it just saves me five mil. Right, what do you think though? It looks nice, right? Right, got me bits now. Coffee, home, pack. Probably gonna go a long way home as well, gonna be honest. <laughs> Josh, really rad about you guys, right? Well, loads of things. But one thing that like really stands out, especially that's really good for me, is you really enjoy all types of content. Like GCN obviously just do road, GMB and just do mountain biking. I do like road, gravel, like track bikes and mountain bikes. And the response from you guys is the same regardless. So that makes me happy and that's why you guys rule. So thank you, you guys rule. Right, so one of my favorite shops is those favorite shops. So I'm gonna have a shred after I've eaten me, um, <laughs> me Greg's, which is probably not the best idea because I can do some climbing, but Let's see what happens if you eat a Greg's and then go do some climbing. <laughs> ah, I don't feel great. Here you go, here's an idea for a video. See which bit of fast food makes you feel the worst after you eat it and try and do a climb. <laughs> I have a bit of a attraction to bad food. <laughs> don't feel great. Well, it might be no surprise to you that after eating a chicken bake and a steak bake and then pinning it up a hill, I feel a bit sick. <laughs> oh my God. Right, so I tried climbing after Greg's, that kind of sucks. So uh, let's uh, test this power meter and see if I can hit a decent um, top peak power. Top peak power. <laughs> <laughs> a decent high power. <sighs> Ouch. You see that? Hey! <laughs> 1300. Woo! Not my best, but I'll take it. <sighs> oh, I mean, that's like a Greg induced sprint. <sighs> Not my best, but you know, I mean, I'm doing an effort after eating Greg's, so. You know, I'm lucky I'm still in one piece. That was <laughs> stomach churning. I'm hot. I feel sick. <laughs> it's been loads of fun. Sorry if it was a bit too chatty today. I got a bit distracted and just thought I'd have a natter to you rather than um, try and squeeze in some crazy ride. But I had to go to the shop and get some bits. So now my bags are all loaded. I'm ready for Mozin. So I hope you guys are all good. Thanks massively for watching. Thanks again always for all the support, the continued, continued, continued radness on your part. Yeah, so stay tuned for some Mozin radness. And then I've got some really cool stuff actually. I've been talking to Movember about doing loads of fundraising and challenging stuff and just like raising awareness for like testicular cancer and mental health week. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. And I'll see you all soon. Bye. <laughs>